from Messi's entire love story inked on his body, to Beckham's erotic tattoo of his wife, which you probably shouldn't be seeing. Here are all the crazy reasons why football players got their tattoos. Yo, have you seen Messi's ink game? This dude's got some serious tats, and they're not just for show. Each one has a story and a meaning behind it. Like, did you know he's got his mom's portrait on his back? That's some serious love for the lady who brought him into the world. But it's not just family love that's getting inked on Messi's skin. He's got a football tattoo on his calf, man. That's some next level dedication to the sport. And speaking of dedication, Messi's got religious tattoos too. Like a portrait of Jesus on his arm. That's right, he's repping for the man upstairs while he's out there crushing it on the pitch. But you know what's really cool about Messi's tattoos? They're all about the people and moments that matter most to him. His wife Antonella's eye is tattooed on his bicep, and he's got his kid's birth dates on his leg. Talk about a proud dad move. And that lotus tattoo? It's a nod to his humble beginnings in Rosario, Argentina. Even with all his fame and fortune, Messi hasn't forgotten where he came from, but he had to forget his beef with this next player when he moved to Paris to team up with him. I'm talking about the hothead and one of the most red-carded footballers, Sergio Ramos. The Spanish football legend has more tattoos than the number of times we've been friend-zoned. Oh, this guy loves to ink his body to commemorate the good times in his life. He has over 40 tats, and each tattoo has its own backstory. For every trophy he wins, he gets a fresh tat. On his left calf, he's got a king of cards and the four venues where he won the Champions League with Real Madrid. Dude's also got some ink on his skin to keep his best moments on the field alive. That tat on his left leg is all about the clutch goal he scored against Atletico Madrid in the 2014 Champions League final. And on his right calf, he's got a World Cup tat tattoo which is very special to him. But Ramos' tattoos aren't just about football, he's got some digits inked above his knuckles that represent a key moment in his life, the birth of his son. And on his back, he's got some ink that represents his love for his family and his religion. Ramos is definitely not afraid to express himself through ink, and he's given us some serious tattoo inspiration. But if we got a new tattoo every time we won rock, paper, scissors, we'd be covered in stick figures. Another player that has a passion for tattoos and uses them to mark important moments and beliefs in his life is Antoine Griezmann. This guy's not just famous for his killer skills on the field, but also for his crazy collection of tats. Each tattoo on his body tells a story that's dear to him, and he's not shy to flaunt them. The Knuckles tattoo is one of his most recent inkings, and it simply spells hope. This is a tattoo he got after the epic 5-3 comeback against Granada in 2021. The initials tattoo, A, E, and I, are a family affair, with A standing for his dad, Alon, I for his mom, Isabel, and E for his wife, Erica. Aw, what a sweet gesture. Peep this, his fame tattoo was inspired by Chris Brown's Fame album, which means forgiving all my enemies. Griezmann may have a bunch of haters, but he bears no grudge whatsoever, and his tats can bear him weakness. He's also got some religious ink on his body, with Jesus Christ and Mary the Mother of Jesus tattoos. Then there's a quote, Make your life a dream, your dream a reality, written in Arabic on his wrist, reminding him to, well, make his dreams a reality. There are also tattoos of an eye and many more, and there are those who wear tats like some fabric, superstars who took their tats into retirement and will definitely take them to the grave as well. David Beckham is one of the greatest football players of all time, who's now a big shot in the ad game and runs the Beckham fam. With over 60 tats, this dude's got more ink than a squid. His body literally carries his family in well-drawn inks. For example, he's got one for each of his four kids. His daughter Harper, seven, got a tiny rose on his neck with Pretty Lady, while Brooklyn, Romeo, and Cruz all got their names and symbolic representations inked on his back, arms, and chest. But let's not forget about his wifey, Victoria. Victoria. She's got a special place in his heart and several places on his skin. Her name is everywhere, including one in Sanskrit that got screwed up and turned into Victoria. Oops. He's also got an erotic portrait of her in seductive underwear. And even after rumors of cheating, he got a Roman numeral tattoo to symbolize a new beginning in their relationship. There is also a number 99 to illustrate the year they married in 1999. And of course, he's got some tattoos for his passion, football. 
the number 7 for his time at Manchester United, 23 for Real Madrid, and pray for me for when he left United. His tats are like a walking, talking scrapbook of his life. It's mind blowing. But I hope your mind survived Beckham's crazy tats because you will need it for this next guy out of the Netherlands. Enter Memphis Depay. The Dutch international left England for Lyon, but while he was there, he got a sick Lyon tattoo across his entire back. Why? Because it represents him. He grew up in the jungle, so he's got the heart of a lion. But the gigantic lion on his back wasn't enough, so he got another inked on the back of his left calf. Plus, he's got a small circle on his wrist that represents his squad of homies and a Jesus of Rio tattoo on his side to commemorate his first World Cup goal. Memphis may have left Manchester, but his tattoos are still straight fire, y'all. And speaking of fire tats, you know Arturo Vidal, right? The Chilean football superstar? Well, did you know the dude is not only a beast on the field, but also a tattoo fanatic? That's right, he's got more ink on his body than a printer. And each of those tattoos has a different meaning like a secret code only he knows. For example, on his neck, he's got never give up written in bold letters. Now, that's what I call a winning attitude. And check out the cross with wings on his collarbone. It's a tribute to his loved ones who passed away. Respect! But that's not all. He's got a horse tattoo on his belly. Talk about a stallion lover. And the Greek samurai portrait on his rib cage? That's some epic stuff right there. And let's not forget the praying hands on his chest. And the kubre me contumanto on his back, which means God save me. Yeah, I feel you, Arturo. We all need some divine intervention from time to time. But there are some players who not only turn their bodies into art, but consider themselves a god as well. I know you know who I'm talking about here. Well, it's Zlatan, baby. In 2015, after scoring a goal against Khan for Paris Saint-Germain, Zlatan Ibrahimovic put his new tattoos on full display. The dude was so proud of his new ink that he knew he was going to get a yellow card from the referee. But he still did it anyway. I mean, talk about having some serious cojones. Zlatan took his shirt off and displayed his tatted up torso to the entire stadium. But little did people know that these tattoos were only temporary. Fast forward a few weeks and fans were left wondering what happened to Zlatan's tats after seeing him without a shirt. Turns out, he only had them done to raise awareness about famine and poverty. Zlatan said that each of his tattoos represented a real person who was suffering from hunger around the world. And even though the tattoos have since disappeared, the people who inspired them are still suffering. Damn, that's deep. A big guy with a big heart. But we can't deny the fact that Zlatan is straight up full of himself on the field. No question about it. That lion tattoo on his back, which is a real and permanent one, is just another sign of it. But hey, at least he's using his fame and fortune to do some good in the world. The former Barcelona striker also has real tattoos on his wrist, biceps, stomach, shoulders, back, arms, and sides. But it's time to move from one former Barcelona star to another. Danny Alves is one heavily inked Dude, the Brazilian footballer's got more tattoos than a biker gang, with 37 tats to his name. But don't let his tough look deceive you, his tats reveal something else. He's got his name etched on his chest, his mother's portrait on his shoulder, and a religious emblem on his bicep. And that's not all. This guy's got a cartoon character from Looney Tunes tattooed on his ankle, some Spanish ink on his hands, with the word Vida inside a heart, a rose with the word love, and even a koi fish on his forearm symbolizing perseverance. There there are also a lot more around his ripped bod, but I want to leave space for this last person on the list who fakes an injury just to attend a birthday. From one Brazilian to the next, we're talking about a soccer superstar, Neymar da Silva Santos Jr. and his collection of tattoos. This guy is like a walking storybook, with over 46 tattoos, each with a deep meaning and special attachment to it. First off, Neymar's got some major love for his sister, Rafaela Santos, and some people believe that he even fakes an injury on her birthday. That's how much he adores her. He's got her name and a diamond tattoo on his shoulders, along with the word Sorella, which means sister in Italian. And you know family is everything to this dude. He's got his mom's face inked on his bicep and the Roman numeral 4 on his neck, representing his parents, sister, and himself. Plus, there's a prayer tattoo on his chest, close to an eagle, in memory of his dad. Neymar's got some lovey-dovey tattoos too, like never-ending love, above his thigh from his ex-girlfriend, and a faded heart tattoo on his upper arm. There's more, but I will leave you with these last ones. A tick mark on his finger, the word blessed on his upper back, and a feather with dream chaser on his neck. Basically, Neymar's body is like a canvas, and his tattoos are like the paintbrush strokes that tell the story of his life. It's like watching a movie, but on a person.